Hey everyone, today we're taking a look at another Microsoft Teams certified device. This time it's a speakerphone from EPOS, the SP30T speakerphone. No headset today, so you don't have to suffer through watching me do a look and feel demo. We're gonna be unboxing this thing, taking a look at all the features on the device itself, looking at how to use it, how to plug it in and get going. We'll take a look at some of that Microsoft Teams integration that is built right in. And of course, we'll do a demonstration or audio comparison with the speakerphone versus other audio inputs on the laptop. Let's dig in. Okay, with the SP30T box sitting right in front of us, let's get this thing opened on up. And first thing we see when we crack it open is the speakerphone itself in its carrying case. This is a cloth carrying case and it zips about almost halfway around. Yeah, I'd say it's about halfway around. Um, and then unzipping it, of course, we'll get to the device inside. Uh, Bluetooth speakerphone for Teams quick start guide here. Shows us all the things we'll need as far as using the device. We'll go through some of those steps in just a moment. A safety guide in many, many languages. Our specifications, again, in many, many languages. And finally, a USB adapter. This is a USB-A to USB-C adapter as the device itself has a USB-C cord on it. Okay, and now for my favorite part, let's get the device out. So we unzip it. You can see that it's a nice, good, snug fit. It's not sliding around in there at all. And the device pulls right out. You can see right there on top that there are a number of built-in buttons all along the peripheral. Looking around the device as well, we can see this has a, a rather unique form factor for a speakerphone. Flipping down to the bottom, a speakerphone sits on a desk, so there are rubber grips all along the base here. In addition to the rubber grips, we've got our USB dongle that allows the uh, speakerphone to connect to your laptop uh, with Bluetooth using this dongle. It is prepared, ready to go. And then we've got the USB-C connection that fits right into this little, uh, little uh, inset right here. And as we take that out of the inset, it kind of just clips right in. You, you uh, angle it in and, and snap it down in there. But as we take it out, it wraps around the device a couple times. As you can see, we have a pretty good length on that cable if we want to keep this thing plugged into our device directly using USB-C instead of using the Bluetooth dongle. As we wrap it back into place, we simply wrap it around this built-in groove right here. It wraps around the front, goes all the way around a couple different times. And finally, when it comes back around the third time, it will fit just so, so that this little piece at the front snaps right into the front. Perfect fit. Coming in for a closer look, the SP30T is recommended for up to eight people in a shared use environment. It has echo and noise canceling microphones built in. The very top of the device, you'll see we've got our mute and unmute button right beside the volume up and volume down buttons. You'll notice there are also four LED status lights right above those buttons. Shifting focus to the built-in Microsoft Teams button. The Teams button can be used to bring Microsoft Teams to the forefront of the screen or to activate Cortana. And there is a little LED light there to give you various indications about uh, missed voice messages, meeting in progress, other things of that nature, a successful Teams connection or not. Uh, lots of meaning that you can get from the pattern that is displayed on the LEDs, uh, not just for the Teams LED, but various other buttons have LEDs as well. Right here we have a combo power and hang up call button. We've then got our Bluetooth button with an LED light right above it. And then finally we've got the answer and place call button. The left side of the device, we've got the NFC area. Okay, let's get this thing plugged in and try it out with Microsoft Teams. Okay, to plug this in to our laptop, we are going to use the USB cable below. I'm going to do this instead of the Bluetooth dongle that you can see we've got right there, but the Bluetooth dongle is definitely an option. 
Uh, we do have a pretty long battery life that's possible on this. It can have up to 18 hours of talk time on a single charge and takes a little over three hours to fully charge. And I'm going to use the USB-A to USB-C converter for our USB-C cable on the SP30T. Um, uh, the optimal angle for recording the experience here uh, will not allow me to reach the USB-C port. So we're just gonna use this adapter, plugs right in. Let's get this plugged into the laptop. And we, and we hear it powering up for the first time. We see that Microsoft Teams is connected. We saw this flash on up here with our LED status and Bluetooth is blinking down here as well. Okay, to see what kind of charge we have right now, I'm gonna go ahead and hold the power button down. It powers it off. I'm gonna turn it back on. We've got four LEDs across the top, meaning we've got a full charge on this, which is great. But we're plugged in right now anyway, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, first thing, we see that our LED status light for the Microsoft Teams button is lit up. On our screen, you see that we do not have Microsoft Teams up on the screen. Let's say we wanna quickly pull up the application without having to sift through a whole bunch of other apps that we may, or windows that we may have open. We click the Microsoft Teams button, and boom, it brings Microsoft Teams up on the screen without having to do anything else. Now, if you are using Cortana on your laptop and you wanted to access Cortana from the speakerphone, you can press and hold the Microsoft Teams button for two seconds to activate Cortana. For controlling the volume on the device itself, we can click the up button here that increases our volume. We are maxed out. As we lower volume, we see the LED status indicators going down. Okay, with our device connected to Microsoft Teams, let's say a call is coming in with Microsoft Teams. We wanna answer it from the SP30T itself. We will see a green LED indicator flashing here showing that the device is ringing through the Microsoft Teams app. We will click the answer button and once we're in the call, we'll see it on screen and then we'll click the hang up button and see the call end. I'm going to initiate the call from the device right off to the side here. We see the call coming through on the desktop. We see our green flashing LED indicator. We press the answer button. And we see and we see that we are connected. You see that I had quite a bit of feedback with both devices sitting right next to each other. So I'm demoing mute at the same time. If I unmute, we get the horrible. So we'll keep that muted. Now to hang up the call, we'll simply press the hang up button. And the call ends. One other thing I wanna point out here is just that we are using the echo canceling speakerphone in the Microsoft Teams client. We're in our settings, we're in devices, and we have selected the SP30T, as was just evidenced by the fact that the incoming call rang through Teams and onto the speakerphone, and we answered it there. I think the uh, background blur is having a little bit of trouble with my hat down there. <laughs> All right, moving along. I want to very quickly, without reading every little bit of this, go over the user guide with you. And it's because there is a great number of features and capabilities uh, built into each of these buttons, especially when it comes to NFC pairing, Bluetooth pairing, uh, the whole nine yards that I have not covered in my, my brief overview. And I don't want the video to be too long. So if you were to look into getting this device or want to explore on a deeper level, some of these deeper functions and features, I strongly advise you go to this user guide for the SP30T and start scrolling through it. There is a lot here. It shows you the contents of what comes with the package, gives you a product overview for all of the buttons here. Um, shows you an overview of the features that I just went over in person. Um, and then it gives you an LED overview breakdown for all of the different status LEDs. You've got your Bluetooth ones right here. All the different meanings that come with the various patterns you'll see. Same with the status LEDs, the Microsoft Teams LED. This thing goes into a whole lot of in-depth information. As you scroll through this document, and you can see we've barely scratched the surface here, it'll tell you things like how to clear your pairing history on the Bluetooth dongle, 
how to clear your, clear your pairing history on the speakerphone itself, um, how to do a great number of things as it relates to pairing, sharing, and using the device in a number of ways. One other thing that I would highly recommend with the SP30T speakerphone is that you go to epulseaudio.com slash connect and install the Epulse Connect software. This will allow you to manage your device when it's plugged in, and we do have the device plugged in right now with various settings. And this is, there's a lot in here. So let's take a look really quickly. On our home screen, we can see what the device is. We can see its firmware and the device ID. Clicking on details brings us over to the next tab. This gives us a description. We can go to the product page over here. We can, again, see the firmware and device ID right there. Then we will go to updates. Here we can see that our ePulse Connect software is indeed up to date. So the updated button is grayed out. And the speakerphone has the latest firmware as well. So we don't need to update that either. Let's go to settings. Oh, look at that. As we are talking, an update comes through. So we can now uh, choose to update the SP30T, which I'm not gonna do during the video, but it did a check and we now have the option to update it. Looking at our settings, you'll notice we have two spots in here, the soft phone and SP30T. Let's start on soft phone since we're already there. Default headset, we of course, we've got our SP30T. We've got the default soft phone that can be used with it. So uh, we're gonna say this is Microsoft Teams, which you'll notice there is Skype for Business and Zoom in here as well. Microsoft Teams. And then do we allow pause audio, audio or not? And we can configure our Windows sound and audio settings right from here as well. We'll say save since we uh, changed our default soft phone to Teams. Then we'll click on the SP30T and this is where you get a whole lot of options. You can enable disable Bluetooth, change the name of the device. Your usage mode can either be personal or shared. You can turn off the usage mode or the clear pairing capability. Here's where you can actually clear the pairing list. Looking a little further down are sounds and notifications. So ringtone, is this on or off? Voice prompts, on or off? Voice prompt language, we have English here, but there's several other options you can choose from. If we come on down, you've got multiple call handling that is enabled. We can also disable it, the ability to merge calls on the SP30T. And then the button control factory reset, is that enabled or not? And here's the reset button. So we can reset the thing back to its factory state. We click on options up here. You've got about info, update mode, uh, language that you choose from, check for updates. A few of the options we just looked at are kind of in a, a, a quick access list underneath options, if you will. And now for the audio comparison. Right now, I am using a wireless lapel mic that you can see attached right here, connected to this little device here, wirelessly talking to this little device here, which is plugged in via the 3.5 millimeter jack on the laptop itself. Now I have unplugged the 3.5 millimeter jack and I am speaking directly into the Realtek built-in microphone on the device, which is clearly not as good of an experience. And finally, we've got the SP30T speakerphone sitting right in front of us. And I am speaking into it, recording audio, so you can hear what it sounds like compared to the other audio sources. We are plugged in via USB-C to the laptop right now instead of using Bluetooth. So that was the SP30T, a certified from Microsoft Teams device from our friends over at EPOS. I hope you found the overview and demo helpful. I hope that it gave you the information you were looking for here. I'm always open to constructive feedback or non-constructive feedback as the case may be in the comments below on the YouTube video itself. Please, if you found it helpful, share it all over social media, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, all the usual places, greatly appreciated. And if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, there is a very handy link at the bottom of this video. Strongly recommend that you subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out on the next overview and demo video. Thanks for watching, and I hope we'll see you back here for the next one.